So in a recent study by IDC, they say that by the year 25, or 2025, which is only six years away, less than six years away, we're going to expect that the storage industry will ship an additional 42 zettabytes of capacity. And if you're not familiar with how big a zettabyte is, that's a trillion gigabytes. So we're going to be adding 42 trillion gigabytes in capacity. We're going to see IoT devices generating things at a rate of about 90 zettabytes. We're expecting about half of the data that's going to be produced will be stored in the cloud for the reasons that we all know and like. And that roughly 30% of the data is going to have to be handled in real time, right? Because we're, we're not going to be storing absolutely everything. We're going to capture things that happen, interact with them, reason over them, make choices uh, from it. But that's going to translate into uh, a shift from about 33 zettabytes in, in existence now to about 175 zettabytes by 2025. That's a compounded annual growth rate of about 61%, which is insane. And it's going to come in these three basic tiers, right? There's the back end, the cloud-based systems where we push a lot of the data up, spend some time training in the cloud and chunking on the data that's there. There's also the front tier, the mobile tier, the Internet of Things tier, where we have the data being generated. We've got sensors that are producing data. We've got cameras and microphones on our, on our phones that are being used as sources to treat people for medical analysis and, and whatnot, to determine you know, if there's been evidence of some kind of neurological damage uh, in somebody's um, you know, facial expressions and whatnot. And there's sensitivities around that. Right? We can't just take that data off of a phone and shove it up into the cloud without thinking about regulation and those sorts of things. So we're actually imagining this multi-tier, heterogeneous, highly parallelized architecture that we're going to have to deploy into. And we get back to the kinds of problems that we were facing at Parabon with respect to like the compute and data ratios that it doesn't make sense to be pushing zettabytes of data around from the front to the back. But we also don't necessarily want to push our big models all the way into small, small profile devices like um, phones and whatnot. So we have to start to think about the models, how big they are, how can we reduce the size, and that's where things like quantization of the models and tooling around optimizations to target the actual hardware that it's going to run on are going to become increasingly interesting and useful. And so this world of, hey, let's do some training, let's build a model, and let's roll it into production, it's kind of an older view of what it means to take machine learning into production because we have to deal with all of these situations and all these scenarios.